Good morning, it's that bloke on a motorbike uh, Me and Ivy, we're out again today And we're going for a uh, A little bit of a bimble around the back lanes Around York area The roads that I've, I've been on a couple of times with um, With the van But I've never actually been down there on the bike So a little mini adventure for me and uh, little Ivy. I did plan a route, as you probably can hear. Uh, planned a route so I don't get down any farm tracks. I don't like that. So let's just see what happens on this ride. It's an absolutely glorious day. It's quite hot when you stood, but it's beautiful when I'm riding in. Uh, got my leathers on so it's keeping me quite cool as I'm riding just got to be mindful of uh, keeping fluids up because it can lead to heat exhaustion quite quickly so I've got plenty of water with me and then I can keep topping up as we're going village of Colton. This looks uh, very very nice. We're actually heading out to uh, an old air base um, which was used for various uh, jobs during the Second World War and then after that it was used for just being on the outskirts of York. Uh, they used it for bringing jockeys in when they were doing the horse racing. But now it's uh, more or less being abandoned. There's some different bits and pieces on there as you get with most old airfields. So I just thought, let's go, let's have a look at it. These are definitely ivy roads, aren't they? Nice little bimbling roads. <laughs> Very nice double 90 degree one way and then the other what you don't want is a big vehicle coming round the other way oh, just listen to Ivy <laughs> she sounds lovely You know, there's hardly a cloud in the sky today. It's set to be the hottest day in September. Well, it looks like we're coming into some form of civilization again. Telling me to turn right here. And I've got absolutely no clue as to where I am. Oh, it looks a nice little pub, doesn't it, Royal Oak? It's very nice, that. It's a nice village, this. Wish I knew where it was. I 
If anybody spots where it is, leave us a comment, will you, and tell me. Ooh, allotments. I quite like the idea of an allotment. My dad used to have, he used to have one. He used to grow all his own veg and stuff. Yeah, we're coming into a custom Malbis. Stretch your little legs for us, shall we? Ooh, got more little Twisty road, whoa, that went a bit wide. Trying to read signpost at the same time. What a stupid thing, Dave. Don't talk about me. It's really flat land round here on the Vale of York. And we're just at the side of the uh, River Ouse. So a lot of this land is floodplain. Uh, and that actually had a, a big impact on the airfield when it was operational. So this is starting to feel a little bit like a, a peri track, perimeter track for the airfield and aha it is we're on it now. So there is the old control tower which looks like it's now some sort of dwelling very nice doesn't it so you can see the line of the trees there where it brings the line of the field in originally this was a uh, opened as a grass strip um, fighter base for protection of York but the problem is that it's made on area of land that's been drained and so there's lots of dikes and uh, waterways there and the ground was quite sodden. See one one of the dispersal points there. I'll just pick up, just pull up, and then you can actually have a look at it. So that's one of the dispersal areas there where that muck is now. That's where one of the planes would have been. So yeah. So they stopped using it as a fighter base because of the low-lying mist and fog that you got quite frequently, uh, and they moved the fighter squadron down into Lincolnshire uh, then it was used for air training and then they decided that well let's make it a heavy bomber base you know the fog really doesn't matter what why it should have done so they put down three concrete runways uh, and all the auxiliary pieces you need like the bit we just saw back there um, where, where they would be uh, stationed with the planes at the east of this uh, airfield there was a bomb area but it was never actually commissioned or never actually used as a, a squadron base it was a, a base that they used for landing from Church Fenton as like a satellite base and then when they had finished with that they decided that they were going to make it the conversion so they converted and used the area for conversion flights for pilots but you can see all these bits all around all the uh, the concrete and just imagine it's nice and quiet now with all this corn growing and stuff and maize and open fields but it, this would have been an absolute hive of activity when nobody knew what was going to happen there's quite a lot of stories about one fighter plane that crashed and he went through the ice at the side of the ooze and drowned and some of the, hev the heavier bombers when they were coming in there crashed as well uh, stories when it's misty that you hear low moanings uh, ghostly figures dressed in flight gear 
can be seen walking around the airfield. So that was uh, the old RAF base at Acaster Malmis. And then we're into this beautiful tree line. This is gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. It's nice and cool as well in here. Oh, look at this, we've got a car. God, we're going to have a traffic jam next, we'll have two of them. Really do wish this summer that we've just had, oh, that's a technical phrase this summer because we didn't really have one, that have been as nice as this. Maybe not quite so hot, but uh, with nice sunny days, dry days, clear skies. Oh, we're just coming into Bolton Percy now. Tea room car park. Looks quite oh look at this. How quaintly English can this be? Playing cricket on the green. Absolutely brilliant. You could really be back in the fifties looking down here. If there weren't these new modern road signs up and white lines down road, you could be back in the 30s looking at that. Not that I can remember that before anybody starts saying anything. I was born in 1958. And the problem is that when people say, oh, it was years ago in the 1980s, I think, hang on, 1980s, that was last week. I suppose that's a, a trait of getting older. Ooh, look at this. Very nice. Playtime. cracking piece of road. I'm enjoying this. Where's that car going? Got it all to ourselves as well though. There is a secret to me finding all these roads without the traffic on it uh, and it's a little bit naughty. What I do is I go find where I'm going and I go out really early on the morning and I put a roadblock up and put a road closed at both ends and then we've got it all to ourselves.
that's nice. Goes on for a long time, did that bend? Where are we? What's that say? Oxton. Oh, beautiful big house there, farmhouse. <laughs> Trees with the apples on. A64 that way. We're going up towards Tadcaster. Playtime. Oh, he's a bit big. Keep over out of his way. You see a wall like that on us right now that's usually somewhat really interesting, like a big house. Especially when you get a gateway like that on me right now. Oh, little squirrel there didn't make it. Made it road. Yeah, it's definitely a big house, is that? Don't know which it is though, but again, if anybody does, let me know. What am I going over here? Oh, I'm crossing A64. And now we're coming into Tadcaster. Big brewery in Tadcaster. Do you know what? I've been through here loads of times and wondered where this road went and now I know. So we're dropping into Tadcaster now, you can see the brewery just ahead of us. Going over the river now. A few years ago, there were really bad storms, and this bridge was damaged and virtually washed away. It was ages before we got it. You know, it came back on to be used, and all the traffic had got to go around the A64 to get from one side of the town to the other. So there we got John Smith's Brewery. Many a saw head being brewed in there. So folks, I think I'm going to bring this route to an end for today. So thanks for joining me again. Uh, it's been good to have your company as always. So if you're a subscriber, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Uh, if you're not, if you consider it, that would help the channel. Leave me a comment below, share it, give it a like, do what you want with it. If you're out on your bikes in this glorious weather, stay safe, keep the shiny side up and the rubber side down. And hopefully I will see you out on the road sometime. Bye for now folks, bye.